My name is Natasha Cloud. I play for the Washington Mystics and I play in the WNBA, so I play basketball. I'm Najee Castro and I work at NASA Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland, and I'm currently working on the OSIRIS-REx project and the MAVEN mission. T-minus one minute and counting. No issues with the range. Everything continues to be go. 25. Status check. Go Alice. Go Centaur. Go Cyrus Rex. Everyone is go. We knew where we wanted to be at the end of the season. We got to that point, and now it's just about finishing nine, and believing in eight, each other. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And liftoff of Osiris Rex. We go into every season thinking that we're going to win a championship and just because we won doesn't mean that we're going to be handed a championship. Once we go into this season, everything's erased and we're starting new. We almost have to reset during every phase because everything's been kind of a different mini mission. Just approach was, you know, a mission of itself, trying to learn how to navigate around Bennu, what kind of gravity environment was at Bennu. Would we be in a very stable orbit? But it's always really rewarding, like even when you saw the first, you know, approach picture to Bennu, it's like, oh my gosh, that's our target. It takes a lot of practice, a lot of hours in the gym, a lot of perfecting your craft. So it's a constant learning process to be an engineer, being open and knowing that there is a lot of education that you can continue to do. I feel like I learn something new every day. So you go into it, you have nerves, you have anxieties. Obviously it's kind of do or die time, but you just prepare as if it was any other game. Despite all the challenges that are ongoing, we really can lead successful operations. Especially for young women, there's going to be a lot of people that tell them they can't do it. There's going to be a lot of roadblocks in the way, if you will. And for me as a, as a female athlete, it's important for them to see a role model. I hope I can serve as a reminder to girls that they should be emboldened to pursue engineering as I have. 